And welcome to my channel. My name is Mel Hartley. I'm a recovering shopaholic who is now on a journey to financial wellness and determined to live a fabulously frugal life in Venice, California. So I've wanted to do today's video for quite some time now. I'm going to be sharing with you what I spend in a week living in Venice, California. Before we get started, I want you to take a guess and let me know in the comments how close you guessed to the actual amount. So if you're not familiar with Venice, California, Venice Beach, it's an artsy little beach town that borders Santa Monica and Maria del Rey in Los Angeles, California. The average rental amount for an apartment out here is well over $3,400 according to Rent Cafe. The cost of living here is about 59% higher than the rest of Los Angeles and 123% higher than the national average according to areavibes.com. Just a little example of what I'm working with here. Since it's only Tuesday when I'm making this video, I'll share what I spent last week. So April 27th through May 3rd. You're either gonna be quite impressed or quite disgusted. There is no in between. Okay, so on Monday, April 27th, I almost said May. Uh, all the days are just blended together. So on Monday, April 27th, I made a $20 transfer to my credit karma savings account. On Tuesday, the 28th, I had a total cheat day and I bought some super cute stuff from meowingtons.com. I'm a sucker for Milton and his merch. Um, that was $28.79. Wednesday, the 29th, I spent $73.14 on Instacart getting groceries um, Thursday the 30th I was refunded for a $16 purchase from the wish app it's either hit or miss on the wish app but I love it it's like a gamble it's gambling you win some you lose some at least they gave me my money back um, and I purchased $37 worth of pet supplies from chewy.com that's on an auto shipment that ships out automatically every four weeks. Um, Friday, May 1st. I don't think I made any purchases. Um, Saturday, the 2nd, I bought chips and salad dressing for $9 at a market. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Air, Air one? Air, Air one, Air one. By the way, their produce section is the most glorious thing I've ever laid my eyes upon. I legitimately just stood there for like 20 seconds staring at it and I'm pretty sure people thought I was weird. Sunday, May 3rd. So Sunday, I had a monthly payment for my Weebly website come out. That was automatically charged to my checking account for $14. And I bought a new domain name with private domain registration for $40. Shout out to the Venice Bee new website. Um, that all adds up to $221.93. And then the breakdown of my rent, utilities, and car payment. Rent is about $456.25 per week, just to clarify. Um, I just got my electric bill, that's for $33.48 since I moved here in January until like the billing cycle was until March 18th, which is about $16.74 per month and breaks down to $4.18 a week. I don't, I have a small studio apartment I don't use electricity. Um, my Spectrum internet 
is about $13.75 per week. My car payment is about $97 per week. All in all, that comes to a grand total of $793.18. Considering that about 65% of that is just my rent in one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Los Angeles, I don't think that's too bad. What do you guys think? Is this surprising? Are you shocked? Are you appalled? Are you impressed? If you're enjoying my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post new videos Tuesdays and Thursdays and on the weekends. Also follow me on Instagram at Mel Hartley for daily budgeting tips and fun freebies. See you next time.